Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. McGorsk, the building sub from Wixom Elementary, and I'm here to read you a bedtime story. I'm actually going to choose a fairy tale from this treasure of bedtime stories book. The fairy tale for tonight is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There once was a family of three bears. There was a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. The three bears lived in a cozy little house right in the middle of the forest. The three bears always started each day in the very same way. First, they washed their faces and paws with sparkling fresh water and sweet-smelling soap. Then they made their beds and fluffed their feather pillows. After they were dressed for the day, they went downstairs for a nice breakfast of delicious porridge. One bright morning, Mama Bear cooked the porridge and called the family for her breakfast, just as she did every day, rain or shine. She spooned the porridge into their three bowls and they all sat down to eat. Oh, this is too hot, exclaimed Bear, Baby Bear, tasting the porridge in his wee little bowl. We must let the porridge cool for a little while, agreed Papa Bear and Mama Bear, after they tasted the porridge in their bowls. The three bears decided to go for a walk while their hot breakfast cooled. Mama Bear took her basket in case they happened to find blackberries to put on top of their porridge. Now, it just so happened that a little girl named Goldilocks was walking out in the woods that morning all by herself. She'd been walking since quite early and was feeling rather tired. She was hungry as well because she had left her house without eating breakfast. When Goldilocks saw the bear's little house, she thought it was the perfect place to rest. Goldilocks marched up to the front door and knocked, but there was no answer. The bears were still out taking their walk, so Goldilocks just let herself in. Goldilocks saw the three bowls of porridge, her mouth started to water, and her stomach started to rumble at once. She decided that she simply must taste the porridge. So first, she dipped the spoon into the great big bowl that belonged to Papa Bear. Oh, this porridge is too hot, she cried. Next, she tried the middle-sized bowl that belonged to Mama Bear. This porridge is too cold, she cried. Last, she had a taste from the wee little bowl that belonged to the baby bear. Oh, this porridge is just right. And she said, and she gobbled it all up. After she had eaten the porridge, Goldilocks wanted to rest. And she went into the bear's sitting room where she saw the three chairs. First, she sat down in the great big chair. This chair is too hard, she said. Next, she tried the middle-sized chair. This chair is too soft, she said, struggling to get out. Last, she tried the wee little chair that was just the right size for her to sit in. This chair is just right, she smiled. Goldilocks sat down so hard that the wee little chair broke all to pieces. By this time, Goldilocks was very sleepy. She tiptoed up the stairs and found three beds. First, she lay down on the great big bed. Oh, this bed is too high at the head, she said. Next, she tried the middle-sized bed. Oh, this bed is too high at the foot, she frowned. Last, Goldilocks lay down on Baby Bear's wee little bed and she said, oh, This bed is just right. Soon, Goldilocks fell asleep. Oh, no. Uh-oh. A short time later, the three bears returned home from their walk. They noticed right away that things were not quite right. Papa Bear looked at the great big bowl of porridge and said in his great big voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bowl of porridge and said in her middle-sized voice, Someone's been eating my porridge. Baby Bear looked at his wee little bowl and said in his wee little voice, Someone's been eating my porridge and has eaten it all up. Mm. 
Well, the three bears then went into their sitting room. When he saw his great big chair, Papa Bear said in his great big voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized chair and said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. And Baby Bear looked at his little wee little chair and cried in his wee little voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair and has broken it all to pieces. Hmm. Poor Baby Bear. The three bears went up the stairs to their bedroom and Papa Bear looked at the great big bed and said in his great big voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. And when Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bed, she said in her middle-sized voice, Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Baby Bear looked at his wee little bed and cried in his wee little voice, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and there she is. <gasps> Baby Bear's wee little voice woke Goldilocks. She sat up to find three bears staring at her. They did not look pleased to see her. Quick as a wink, she rolled out of bed and ran straight to the window. She jumped right out and ran off as fast as her legs would carry her. The three little bears never saw Goldilocks again. The end. All right, boys and girls, good night. Sleep tight. Bye.